From a previous experience, you know how Gnome hates theming, and anyone who defies the guidelines will face the consequences. To put it into a perspective, Gnome themer, Gnome developer, results. In reality, things are a bit different on this case. For start, the theming happens exclusively by the user, and it doesn't come by default from the Linux distribution. Most importantly, this kind of theming only affects colors, and not paddings and shapes. And moreover, Adwaita already supports things like accents, so it is safe to personalize at least those, although we can do much more. Alright, without wasting more time, to the app. I imagine everyone knows gradients, so I will only go with a quick overview. Version 0.3, but they are already working towards version 4, so short future releases will be a bit different than what I'm showing here and now. And a warning about a potential messing up of the theming, but you can play it safe by not doing radical changes. For now it can only edit GTK Adwaita, but future versions may also enable shell theming too. Legacy is the support for GTK3 through the GTK3 Adwaita, and system configuration should be the Flatpak support. Then Gradient says to wait, but there is nothing to wait, everything becomes immediately. And done. We can start using it already. And as everything else, Gradients maintains a phone mode too, which is impressive enough considering the number of the controls and buttons and switches. Anywho, let's start with something as simple as changing the accent color, and that alone could be reason for someone getting this app. So from the classical blue to the typical fuchsia, and I care for GTK4 only, because I'm lazy to deal with third-party themes. And now the application asks us to log out and log in back again for the changes to take effect, which is the single most pathetic thing ever. The truth is, we need to only restart the opened apps rather to fully restart our session, but restarting an app isn't something always straightforward. So closing and reopening GNOME files won't do the trick, because files will keep running on the background, so instead we need to explicitly quit it. And this time files will read the changes and will get the Fuchsia accent that even affect the selections. And obviously, all the rest controls like switches, buttons, and inputs. But you know what just stopped working? The dark light switcher had a painful death. And perhaps there is an open issue to address that, but I'm not sure if it is something deliverable. To move on, changing the accent is only a fraction of the things we can change. We can change virtually any color exposed in Adwaita, including the official color palette. And so far we were doing that for components that were running on shared system libraries, but from preferences we can also enable the Flatpak support. And I will explain later on how that works so you can easily revert even manually. Now, a much better thing than us trying to modify a theme is to automatically create a color scheme from an image, like from our wallpaper. Then again, GNOME makes it impossible to find the image you want, so we will pick something in complete luck, and we can only hope for the best. Oh well, the random pick was successfully failed, but yet another feature is that we can try on the light version of it. And failure again. And by the way, this is a stupid way to switch between dark and light modes. Gradients is supposed to only change colors, but it also gives us a text input to apply some additional style sheets, just in case we have nothing better to do with our lives. Of course, when we're creating a new theme we can give it a name and save it, but we can do much more than that. Gradients maintains two repositories on GitHub. One with let's say official themes, and one that users can push theirs, and we can use all those directly from the app. And some of them are quite good, I must confess. Something that troubled me a lot is when I unsuccessfully tried to switch back to the default behavior. Gradients has an option to restore everything back, but I'm not fully convinced it always works. In any case, here's how you can do it on your own. 
So when you create a new theme, Gradients creates a new CSS file on GTK4 config folder and updates that file every time you perform theme changes. So to restore everything back, all you need to do is to remove this file and reboot. This setting is responsible for system applications and GNOME portals. For the Flatpak story, you can revert back from FlatSeal instead. If you select the global Flatpak settings and scroll a little bit down to the file system permissions, you will see the GTK4 XDG config flag that you can simply remove. Although if you had previously removed the CSS file, it won't matter anyway. But that's a trick to apply the theme per Flatpak app if you want. To recap, Gradients might be the GNOME desktop component you always wanted, but it carries some serious flaws too. It can't apply the styles immediately, it won't respect the color modes and specially per app, and it is certain that will bring extra troubles to the apps that make heavy use of custom styles. And most importantly, it is not a feature officially supported by GNOME, which means things might stop working with some future update of Arwaita. And so, that was everything for now. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.